Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my delicious New Orleans stuffed melatons with shrimp, ham, and crab meat in it. Now, melaton is basically a squash. It has a sweet-like flavor. Now, the correct way to pronounce it is merlaton, but it also goes by the name chayote. But in New Orleans, we say melaton. This recipe makes about 14 individual stuffed melatons. It's a classic New Orleans dish to try especially during the holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's flavorful and absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all what you're gonna need to make your New Orleans stuffed melatons with shrimp, ham, and crab meat. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need four to five pounds. That's about seven large to medium-sized melatons. And along with that, you'll need one and one half pounds of fresh Louisiana shrimp, a half a pound of claw or lump crab meat, some diced ham in new orleans we call this ham seasoning you're only going to need about two-thirds to three-fourths cup of this and i also want to let y'all know that the diced ham is optional for this recipe so if you don't want to add it you don't have to and it's the brand right here you will also need some salted or unsalted butter either one will work perfectly for this recipe you will also need one large egg at room temperature some plain or italian breadcrumbs and for your seasonings you will need one yellow onion green onion celery bell pepper, garlic, some fresh parsley, and for our additional seasonings, you will need some salt, black pepper, Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use the Zatarain's Creole seasoning, or the Sapping Mama Cajun seasoning. You will also need some Chef Paul Put On Seafood Magic, granulated onion, and granulated garlic. And for your tools, you will need a mesh strainer, and to bake your melatons, you will need an 11 by 17 inch baking pan. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. So I'm gonna get started by chopping up one medium-sized yellow onion. Next, I'm gonna chop three ounces in weight of green onion. Make sure you chop the ends to your green onions as well. Okay, next I'm gonna rinse off my celery, my green bell pepper, my parsley, and my melatons. Chop two ribs of celery. Make sure you remove the core out of the center of your bell pepper before you chop it. Chop half of a green bell pepper. All right, here I have three cloves of garlic. I went ahead and cut them in half. Here I have a garlic press. And now I'm going to press the garlic. And there we go. Okay, here we have our fresh parsley. Now we're only going to use a very small amount of this. So we're just gonna cut some of that off. And from there, I'm going to chop the parsley up until the parsley resembles coarse crumbs. Okay, next we're gonna take our melatons and we're gonna turn it to the side. And from there, we're gonna take a knife and we're gonna carefully cut the melaton in half. Like that. Let's try it again. Melaton to the side. And from there, we take our knife, cut down to the melaton. And there you go. Okay, next we're gonna take the seed out with a spoon, I'm just gonna carefully dig the seed out with the spoon. And from there, you can discard the seed. And there you go. All right, let's get started with our shrimp. Okay, here I have a shrimp. I'm going to remove the head off the shrimp and place that into a bowl. I'm going to peel the shrimp shell from off of the shrimp tail. We're gonna take the shrimp shell and place that into one bowl. We're gonna take the shrimp tail and place that into a separate bowl. To devein the shrimp, you're gonna start by cutting out the back of the shrimp using a sharp serrated knife. And when you open this up, here is the shrimp's digestive tract right here. And from there, you just take your fingers and just pull that out. And your shrimp tail has been deveined. Okay, next I'm gonna take a knife and I'm going to cut my shrimp tails in half, like that. And there we go. All right, I've added my chopped shrimp tails into this mesh strainer. And I'm going to rinse the shrimp tails off with cold water. Preheat your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started making our shrimp stock. So in this medium sized four quart pot, I've added one and one half quarts of water and that's come up to a simmer. Next, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt, one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning, one teaspoon of Chef Paul Perdome's Seafood Magic, and the shrimp heads and shells. 
stir all your ingredients together. Let this simmer for 45 minutes. All right, it's been about 45 minutes now and our shrimp stock is done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fire off. Here I have a mesh strainer with a medium sized bowl underneath it. Add your shrimp heads and shells into the mesh strainer. I'm going to shake the mesh strainer to let some of the shrimp stock drain. And from there, I'm going to discard the shrimp heads and shells. And once done, you should have two cups of homemade shrimp stock left over. Preheat your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started with parboiling our melaton halves. So in this large eight quart pot, I've added four quarts, that's one gallon of water, and I let it come up to a simmer. Add your melaton halves into the simmering water. I'm gonna cover this. Make sure you tilt the lid just slightly to allow some of the steam to escape and let this simmer for 45 minutes. All right, it's been about 45 minutes now. Let's check on our melaton. Here we have a melaton here. Now, if you take a fork and you can insert it really easy into the melaton, as you see here, the melaton is done, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fire off. And from there, place the Paul Bold melaton halves into an 11 by 17 inch baking pan. Let this cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, here we have a melaton half. Take a spoon and make an oval incision into the insides of the melaton, just like that. Now you want to do this without damaging the outside of the melaton, okay? From there, you're gonna take your spoon, you're gonna go underneath, take the uh, filling out of there and add that into this uh, medium-sized bowl here. Now, you're gonna take the melaton, turn it at a 90 degree angle, take your spoon and carefully dig out the insides of the melaton. Now you're going to do this very gently without damaging the outsides of the melaton. And there we have it, our melaton shell is ready. Once you're done digging out your melatons, you're just gonna take them and you're gonna place them into this 11 by 17 inch baking pan. Okay, next I'm gonna take a spoon. You can also use a potato masher as well. And from here, I'm just going to mash the melaton filling. Make sure you mash it really well. All right, here I have a mesh strainer with a medium sized bowl underneath it. Add the melaton filling right on in there. I'm gonna take my spatula and I'm just gonna stir this. Now as I stir this, the liquid is gonna drain into the uh, medium sized bowl here. And also take your spatula and just gently press down onto the melaton filling. Just be very gentle with it. Now you're gonna stir this for about one minute. And once done, you should have about one pound of the melaton filling. Now, as far as the juices goes for the melaton filling, I'm gonna pour that into a measuring cup. And you should have about one and three fourth cups of the melaton juice in here. Now don't discard this. We're gonna use a little bit of this to add back into the stuffing at a later time. Preheat your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started with making our melaton dressing. So in this large saucepan, I'm gonna add four tablespoons of cubed unsalted or salted butter. Just gonna spread that around and let that melt. Okay, let's add some seasoning. I'm gonna add two third cup of chopped yellow onion. Our chopped green onion ends. This is a scallion. This is about three tablespoons. I'm just going to add that in there. I'm going to also add one eighth of a cup. That's about two tablespoons of our chopped green onion. A half a cup of chopped celery and a half a cup of chopped green bell pepper. Stir all the ingredients together. I'm going to cover this. Let this saute for about 10 to 12 minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, it's been about 10 to 12 minutes now. Okay, next we're gonna add our pressed garlic. That's about two to three teaspoons of that, right on in there. Next, we're gonna add the melaton filling. That's one pound, right on in there. I'm going to give this a quick stir. Now let's add some seasoning. We're gonna sprinkle about one fourth teaspoon of salt, one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, 
one teaspoon of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning, one teaspoon of Chef Paul Podom's Seafood Magic, a half a teaspoon of granulated onion, a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic, and about two to three teaspoons of fresh parsley. Stir all your ingredients together. Add your shrimp tails and your crab meat. This is a, a eight ounces. This is a half a pound of claw crab meat. You can also use lump crab meat as well. Stir all your ingredients together. I'm going to cover this. Let this simmer for three minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, it's been about three minutes now. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn my fire off. Add one and one fourth cups of plain or Italian breadcrumbs, three fourth cup of shrimp stock, and remember the juices that I told you to reserve from the melaton. We're going to add one fourth cup of that right on in there. Stir all your ingredients together. I'm going to add 4.5 ounces in weight. This is about two third to three fourth cup of our ham seasoning, diced ham. And it's already fully cooked, so add that in there last. Now I'm gonna give this a quick stir. And at this time, you can add more shrimp stock or the melaton juice as needed for this recipe. Let this cool for 10 minutes. All right, it's been about 10 minutes now. Here I have one large egg at room temperature. I'm going to whisk this together with a fork. Add that in there. Stir all your ingredients together. Make sure you stir it really well. And from there, our melatonin dressing is done. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Okay, next, you're going to take your melatonin dressing and you're going to add it into your melatonin shells. Use your judgment skills to determine how much to add. And from there, after you finish from stuffing your melatons, you're going to take them and place it into an 11 by 17 inch baking pan. Okay, I've melted about two tablespoons of salted or unsalted butter. And here I have a pastry brush. And from there, we're going to add some melted butter. We're just going to dab that on top of each melaton. And as a final garnish, I'm going to sprinkle some Italian style breadcrumbs. It could be plain or Italian style, it don't really matter. And we're just going to sprinkle some on top of each melaton. Now they are ready to be baked. Place this into a preheated 350 degree oven on the bottom rack. Bake this for one hour. All right, it's been about one hour now for our stuffed melaton. Now let's go ahead and remove this out of the oven. Let this cool for about 30 minutes to an hour before serving. If you're having any issues with your melatons getting a little brown at the top, you're going to set your oven broiler to high and place them into your broiler part of your oven for about three to four minutes. You want to make sure you watch it closely to make sure that they don't burn at the top. And you can also turn your temperature up from 350 to 425 degrees within the last 15 minutes of baking time. And for best results, you can serve these the very next day so that way the flavors can settle and increase overnight. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, New Orleans stuffed melatons with shrimp, ham, and crab meat made by a New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. I have an official website for all of my recipes, including this one. Go to www.charliecookandrews.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Can't wait. Ah. Now it's time to go eat and take a bite. I got two of them with me today. <laughs> I'm going to try both of them. Mmm. Look at that.
walk out, take another bite of it. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. Y'all, this is so flavorful and delicious. It has a nice little crunch on the top and on the inside of the dressing. It's flavorful and moist, especially from that shrimp, ham, and crab meat and those seasons that we've added. It's not too much seasoning, just the right amount of seasoning. And you have the flavor of the melaton, bring out sweetness and everything. Y'all, I'm telling you, this is better than my 2017 recipe for melatons. I mean, it is absolutely delicious. Mm, mm, mm. So, give the recipe a try. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Peace. I gotta have another bite of this, y'all. Mm.